I got an idea. This might not go well with some people, but it's just an idea. Tell me what you think. And and I'd be willing to bet, I'd be willing to bet a fucking million dollars that it would work. But of course, it would be, I mean, politically incorrect. The left would hate it. The left loves criminals for whatever reason. They, they it's their votes. I mean, that's their, that's their, <laughs> those are their voters. So the left... Democrats love criminals. They love, I mean, that's their voters, right? I, I bet you 78% of all criminals are Democrats. I, I would bet anything that. Anyway, okay, but just check this out for crime. Okay, let's start with rape. Let's say all rapists, without a doubt, right, as soon as they get convicted, cut their balls and their cock off. That's their punishment right there. Cut their balls and their cock off. Bing. And throw in a hand. One hand. Now let's let's just go with balls and cock. All right. I would bet you, I will bet you anything after the first 20 or so sentences were carried out, I bet you rape would stop. I mean real rape. Not the kind of rape where some chick gets drunk, fucks a guy, and then says it was rape. I'm talking about real rape. Okay, I bet you would stop immediately. All right. Any kind of thievery, whether it's a burglary or a robbery, any kind of thievery, all right, cut both hands off. Immediately. Cut both hands off. Carry that sentence off a couple times. I guarantee you no one would steal again. Right? What do you think? I mean, you, you, you get what I'm, where I'm going with this, right? Think of another crime. What's another big crime? DUI. All right, you take a DUI driver, right? And after their first offense, they have to ram into a wall, a stone wall. And if they live, okay. And then if they go for their second offense, say they got to drive like 20 miles an hour faster. Like the first one, they, they got to go like 20 miles an hour into a wall, a stone wall. The second one, they have to go like 40 miles an hour. And then the third one, 80 miles an hour into a wall. Guarantee, I guarantee you, after the first couple of convictions and when people are watching what happens, no one will drive drunk anymore. I guarantee it. It's a fucking, it's a masterpiece. You can, you can get creative with these. Think of a crime. What's another big crime? Right? Okay, assault. Somebody wants to assault someone. All right. So somebody gets found guilty of an assault, right? They have to go in the cage with, uh, let's just say, the baddest fucking 250-pound fighter there is. Two of them. And these two 250-pound fighters beat the shit out of them for five minutes. Carry that one out for a couple uh, couple of sentences. No one else will ever commit an assault. Do you get where I'm going with this? Let's do this. Let's quit making our country so soft. And we take we take criminals and say they just need they just need to be educated or they just need to be rehabilitated. You're not going to rehabilitate a fucking scumbag. A scumbag is a scumbag and they always will be. So you just have to punish them severely and they won't do it anymore. If they know they're going to get to go to prison and hang out with their friends and it's kind of like a vacation when they go to prison. Don't have to work. It's not really that bad. Now, punish the fuck out of them And they're not going to go back. They're not going to commit any crime anymore. This country's crime rate will just plunder. It would just go completely down. We'd be a crime-free country if you follow my lead. All right, what do you guys think? Please share this. Comment. Thanks for coming.